Hello everyone, a little video here about an often overlooked part of warfare, electronic warfare. It's overlooked but extremely important, especially in the modern era. This is a key focus for Russia and they have deployed various electronic equipment in Ukraine. So what electronic warfare equipment does Russia deploy? Well, before we get into that, let's take a quick look at Russia's electronic warfare focus. So Russia uses radio electronic warfare or REB troops at two levels. The Motorized Rifle Brigade is equipped with a company of electronic warfare troops with broad spectrum capabilities. The Army Group also includes an electronic warfare battalion with equipment and capabilities specifically targeted at various operational systems. There are five electronic warfare brigades, one for each of Russia's four military districts with two brigades in the Western Military District. So the intention of the Electronic Warfare Brigade is to provide wide area protection of a Russian formation. It can be task organized to support certain operations or have its effects combined to achieve effects against complex targets. So now let's take a look at the vehicles and their various capabilities. The first vehicles used in an Electronic Warfare Brigade are the Krasuka 2 and the Krasuka 4. These are a pair of 8x8 vehicles carrying electronic warfare payloads, specifically designed to combat NATO surveillance aircraft, such as a J-Star aircraft like the E-8 and AWACS like the E-3 Sentry. The Krasuka 2 is used to jam S-band airborne radars and Krasuka 4 is effective against X-band and Q-band airborne radars. The Krasuka 2 is usually deployed to guard mobile, high-priority targets such as the Iskander rocket launcher. Krasuka 4 is typically used to protect command posts, troops and industrial facilities from radar reconnaissance and precision weapons. It employs broadband active jamming and has an effective range of up to 300 kilometers. Taking a look at the Krasuka vehicles, there is a large turret mounted with a wealth of various jamming equipment mounted on top of a shelter, which is in turn mounted on the rear of an 8x8 truck. Another vehicle in use by Russia and typically assigned to an electronic warfare brigade is the RB. 341V Lear 3. This is based on a 6x6 truck and is essentially a mobile drone carrier. Each unit carries three Orland 10 UAVs which can carry its electronic warfare payload extending its range. The Orland 10 drone has a combat range of around 1500 kilometers. The Lear 3 also reportedly as a mobile phone tower simulator built into the UAV that is designed to interact with and jam the GSM-900 and GSM-1800 mobile phone networks. This phone network jammer system is capable of covering a 6 km area with the ability to hijack up to 2000 mobile phone connections at once. It has supposedly been used in Ukraine, where it was used for various purposes such as the tracking of cell phone users, distribution of fake text messages to network subscribers, and also the direction of artillery fire. Next up is the Murmansk BN system. This is a communications intelligence and jamming system. Composed of multiple vehicles and large antenna masks, it is used to provide wide area intelligence and jamming against airborne HF signals which are essential for communication over long distances between NATO's airborne enablers. It is attributed with a range of 1000 kilometers, although some Russian sources state that 2000 kilometers can be achieved in the ideal atmospheric conditions. A Pravda article credits the system with the ability 
to search over a wide area for HF emissions, as well as the ability to jam communications between aircraft, ships and satellites. Now we'll look at combating drones. Russia has spent a long time working on its counter UAV game, including developing concepts, techniques, procedures to combat UAVs and has used experience from Syria to further develop its capabilities. Besides working on drone killer UAV concepts, most major Russian drills today involve electronic warfare training against adversary drone systems. These often include the testing of Borisoglevsk 2 and R330 ZH ZTEL ground vehicle electronic warfare systems. The Borisoglevsk 2 entered service in 2015. 10 sets were delivered with 14 more ordered though that may have been increased since then. Russia has confirmed that it has deployed the Borisoglebsk 2 in the Belgorod region. On 28th of February, Ukrainian civilians attacked one, which was being towed. They attacked it with Molotovs, and also at least one has been captured by Ukraine. This system is designed to disrupt communications and GPS signals. The ZTEL system is deployed by the 18th Motor Rifle Brigade. It includes one Ural or Kamaz truck and one shelter with four telescopic masks. The truck is the control centre for the operators. It is designed for detection, analysis, direction finding and jamming of satellite and cell phone communication systems operating in the frequencies from 100 to 2000 megahertz. In other counter UAV exercises, Russia deployed the Silok 01 R934 BMV automated jamming station and the Pole 21 advanced radio suppression system. Both of these capabilities can detect and render UAVs useless by tapping into their communications and suppressing their control channels. In tests, the Psylock destroyed a swarm of 10 practice drones. The system automatically seeks and determines coordinates, making it possible to neutralize at a range of several kilometers unmanned vehicles operating in various frequency ranges. The Pole 21 is a jamming system intended to neutralize GPS, Galileo, GLONASS and Beidou satellite-based navigation systems in order to protect key sites from attacks by cruise missiles, smart bombs and UAVs. The system consists of jamming modules installed on mobile phone towers working together to screen a wide area from satellite-based navigation systems. The Pole 21 modules feature a GSM antenna to serve as a backup channel for signal control and transmission. The modules are able to jam all positioning signals within an 80 km range. The Russian Armed Forces deployed the Pole 21 in August 2016. The Pole 21M is an upgraded variant allowing the creation of a continuous jamming zone of up to 50 km wide. The system has been revamped to cause interference to any foreign satellite-based navigation system, rendering them unusable. The system is especially well suited for neutralising drones and cruise missiles. The Pole 21M was first deployed in April 2021. So as you can see, Russia has a wide range of electronic warfare and jamming equipment many of which have been deployed in Ukraine, especially because in the early stages of the war, Ukraine saw a lot of success with its drones, such as Bayraktar. So these various systems have been deployed to try and counter Ukrainian drones. How successful they are, we don't know. That sort of information is kept confidential. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could click like and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for listening and take care everyone.